Hey, what's up, guys? I noticed in the comments that I get asked all the time uh, after I make a video, J JC, what JST connector did you use? What's the name of it? Where did you get it from? What's the pin spacing? What's the size? So I just wanted to take the time to kind of go over JST connectors with you and explain the differences between all of them, what the names are, and where to purchase them from. So JST stands for Japanese Solderless Terminal. Well, actually it stands for like 10 different things if you Google it, but at least in our hobby, that's what it means. And there's many, many different sizes. One of my pet peeves is uh, when I, you know, I watch a video and someone says, oh, it's, it's a, this is a JST connector and it goes here and does this. And because whenever you hear JST, the first thing to come to mind is this. Because if you just search for just flat out JST, this is what shows up. And yes, this is a JST connector, but there are many, many different kinds. And uh, I'm not going to go over all of them with you, just the ones that we use in this hobby. First up, we have the JST SH, also known as the uh, 1.0 millimeter spacing connector. So this is what it looks like, and what these are most commonly used for is going to be flight controllers, as well as 4-in-1 ESCs, and a few other things. Uh, the connector looks like this. Obviously this is a 4-pin connector because it has 4 pins and you would need a 4-pin harness. This is a this is a 6-pin, uh, so clearly this one will not work. You will need a 4-pin 1.0 millimeter spacing harness to fit this connector. The next size up is going to be the Molex Pico Blade, also known as the 1.25 millimeter spacing. And it looks something like this. Now this looks very similar to the 1.0 millimeter spacing connector. But if you look closely, the pins are a little bit bigger. They're also spread out a little bit more. Also, the plastic housing is a little bit taller as well as thicker and wider. But even by eyeballing these, they can be hard to uh, distinguish the difference between the two. So, my well, first let's talk about what the 1.25 is used for. Uh, every single camera I have ever used uses the 1.25 connector. So, this is a 4-pin camera, 4-pin harness, and it plugs right in. Uh, the 3-pin cameras, you know, it's just power, ground, and video. Uh, some of the 4-pin ones have audio, or sometimes it's only video, but they have the 4th pin for the uh, OSD cable. And I've seen cameras use uh, all the way up to 6-pin. But either way, no matter how many pins it has, they are always 1.25 millimeter spacing. So if you ever need a harness for anything, and you're not sure what size you need, let's say I don't know what size connector this is. Just take the harness from your camera, because there's a 98% chance that it uses the 1.25 spacing, and then uh, just line it up, even if the number of pins don't match up, just line it up and see if it would fit in there. And obviously this is too big, and I know for a fact that it's 1.25 because it came out of the camera, therefore uh, this has to be 1.0 millimeter spacing. As far as video transmitters, I've seen both 1.0 and 1.25, so there is no absolutes there like it is with the cameras. You'll just have to, uh, once again, take the camera harness out and uh, judge it from there. Also for you FreeSky users that use the FreeSky XSR, this is also a 1.25 millimeter spacing, and it's a 5-pin. So I've got a 5-pin harness here, plug it in, and we're good to go. For you guys asking uh, about the Omnibus flight controller, because you have, you've seen me plug in a harness into the 4-in-1 ESC port on the Omnibus and you want to know what size you need, that is a 1.0 millimeter spacing. So, uh, but like I said, just, just go back to the camera, use that harness, and you can figure out what size you need from there for any connector you need. The next size up is going to be the JST-ZH, which is also known as the 1.5 millimeter spacing, which looks like this. These are actually very rare. The only time I've ever seen these used is going to be on the uh, for your Spectrum satellite receivers, which is exactly what this uh, connector is for on this flight controller. But other than that, I, I really haven't seen these used very often at all. So compared to the 1.25, you can see how much larger it is. Like this could fit on the inside and not even, you know, it's not going to work. Now we're going to skip 2.0 and go straight to 2.5 millimeter, which is going to be your battery balance leads. This is a four cell battery, so it uses a five pin connector 
if I were to do an online search, I would search for, well, really you could search for battery bounce lead or JST 5 pin 2.5 millimeter. So now let's talk about where I actually purchased this stuff from. Um, if you've watched my repair series of videos, like I said, all of my electronics I actually get from eBay because they have such a wide variety and selection. I mean, I get my voltage regulators, resistors, capacitors, uh, everything from eBay. There are other websites that have these harnesses as well as other electronics, but uh, like I said before, they usually charge a lot more for shipping. Sometimes I was paying more for shipping than it was for the product I was purchasing. But with eBay, they have really good prices and you generally get free shipping. Now the, the shipping is it's probably going to come from Hong Kong or China, so it's going to take a, a couple weeks, but I mean it's worth it to me, I'm a patient guy. The other thing I need to explain is uh, this connector, you would think that this is the female connector and this is the male connector, but it's actually the exact opposite because you're not going by the plastic on the outside, you're actually going by the pins. So if you look on the inside of this, it has the male pins that look like, well, you know what, the male part. And uh, on the inside of this, the pins are actually rounded. So this male pin goes into the female pins, therefore this is the male connector and this is the female connector. So the exact opposite of what you may think. The reason I explain this is because when you're searching through here, uh, they are going to tell you if it's a male connector or female, and sometimes it's going to be the uh, the actual wires on the male or female part and then it's going to come with another connector. So you want to get the one with the female, uh, you get wires on the female part and the male connector is on its own. You can purchase this uh, without the other side to it. You can just get the female part with the wires on it, but uh, I would recommend trying to find something like this. But I would actually recommend getting uh, some of these with the male part uh, that you you know just in case on your flight controller uh, it JSD breaks off or on your 4-in-1 ESC or anything like that even your cameras uh, you can if you purchase this bundle you can you know you have spares so you can just solder that in place and you're good to go so it's nice just having these laying around even if you don't need it you never know when you do need it just to give you a couple examples let's say I need a three pin harness for uh, for a three pin camera so I'll just do a search for JST 3 pin 1.25 millimeter. Or let's say for you Omnibus guys, since you keep asking me how to get that 4-in-1 ESC harness, uh, it is a 6 pin connector with a 1.0 millimeter spacing, so search for JST 6 pin 1.0 millimeter. And it will come up with this. Now the downside to ordering this stuff off of eBay is these wires have the really cheap plastic jackets. And if you've ever used these before, you know that when you try to solder these onto anything, the plastic actually melts and pulls up and exposes a lot of the wire, and it is kind of a headache unless you're really good at soldering. So uh, for any of you that want the really nice silicone jackets, I haven't found a, a great website that has cheap prices and a good quality as well as fast shipping. The best place that I've been using is Raymade RC. So, uh, and this is going to be for your camera harnesses, video transmitter harnesses, and uh, a few other harnesses. I just click on FPV components, then I go to cables and voltage regulators, camera and transmitter cables, and then you can just scroll through here and find what you need. Um, they have a lot of these uh, video transmitter harnesses with that really strange 5 pin connector. And then on the other side, you can get the 4-pin connector for 4-pin cameras, or even the 3-pin, and you can get it with that red 2-pin JST. Uh, but what I do, I, I solder the, my wire, I splice my wires into everything, or solder them directly to stuff. So what I do is scroll down, go to page 3, and if I need just a 3-wire harness for my camera, they got that. They got the 4-pin harness for the 4-pin cameras and they have the 5 pin connector for that other type of video transmitter and uh, I believe those are actually on page 2 but either way every single harness and wire from ReadyMate RC comes with that really nice silicone jacket and uh, that so that's just where I get that from but that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys I hope this cleared things up for you hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching I'll see you again soon